Hey, welcome back to another episode of Brock's Garage. Hey, today we're going to be working on the Shell, which is awesome. I've already got some other stuff done on it. We'll show you that a little bit later. Uh, we're going to be putting in a really uh, nice brand new gas tank. I'm going to be doing that with my help of my buddy Randy, the airbrush master, the Da Vinci of airbrush, Randy D. Bo, he's going to help me with that. We're also going to show you some video we took of a car show we were at today, a Hub City car show up at the Veterans Museum in Chehalis. It was an awesome show. Got some really cool cars to show you from that. But right now, we're going to put this brand new gas tank in the Chevelle. I got this from uh, Biscay uh, up in Thurston County. Those guys rock up there. They got a whole bunch of Chevelle parts. Let me tell you right now, if you got a Chevelle, an El Camino, or a, a Camaro, um, an old one like that, don't go there unless you want to spend money because they got everything you need. It's, it's an awesome place, dude. I'm just telling you. So well, this thing's all geared up and ready to go. We're going to shove it in the car so we can feed this big block when we get that coming. Rock on. Let's do it, Randy. Got it. <laughs> Okay. Okay, let me grab that in. This is what I was afraid of. Maybe we do need to take these straps off real quick. Mm, just like this. Thanks a lot for the help on the gas tank, man. Oh, appreciate you. You and your boys tell them thanks a lot, too. You're more than welcome. Yeah, I think we ought to do that a couple more times. What do you think? That was fun, huh? At least a half a dozen. Oh, yeah. It's great. Yeah. Hey, a couple things we did do on the Chevelle that I didn't show you and uh, is this uh, sway bar. We got one up front, and we got one in the back to match it. Nice, big, huge, giant sway bar. We also got some seats done in the car. Thanks to Joe. Appreciate you. We'll, we'll hook, uh, hook you guys up with his information. Joe did a good job. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. A um, couple weeks. We're going to have the motor done, so that'll, that'll be an exciting show. We'll be putting the motor in this thing, put the big block in it. That'll be cool. Um, we're going to have some featured cars from the car show that we went to today. It was a really good good show. You missed it, dude. I had to do the family thing. Uh, hey, I appreciate that. That's cool. But, yeah, we got some cool cars to show you. And uh, keep subscribing. Keep watching. We appreciate you guys. And, as always, we'll catch you next time on Brock's Garage. Back to Brock's Garage. Hey, I'm here at a car show in Shalis at the Veterans Museum. It's a really cool car show. Um, it's actually a Hub City car show. I'm here with Sue and Jason Wise, and then we're going to talk about their two cars here. This is a Mercury a 49 Merc that Sue's going to talk about, and Jason's going to talk about the uh, Ford Coupe there, a 40 Ford. So, Sue, what's the story on your car? It's beautiful. This is a 49 Mercury custom convertible. It was uh, one of the winners in the 1963 Oakland Roadster Show. Really? That was before we had it. And when my husband got it 30 years ago, it was in bare metal and all in pieces. So he restored it with the help of a couple of guys in his shop. Um, and 
this is what it turned out to be. That's Almost beautiful. the same beautiful. as it was. So tell me about some of the features of the car. It's got Lincoln quad headlights, um, Studebaker detailing on the sides. Um, Lots of different um, things in here. My favorite thing is the little prism that a lot of people don't know what that is, but for topped cars like this, it's for telling whether the, the light is green or red. And this is a um, kind of a replica of a Carson top, but this was an original convertible. Back here we have Studebaker tail lights. Oh, and I forgot the Lincoln uh, door, push button door knobs. Um, and a lot of magazines from all the history of the car, back to the 60s. All right, so this car has been in the car show world for a long time. I mean, you see by the history here, right? Yes. In fact, we ran into somebody one time that told us he saw it in Indiana in the 60s on really? one of the car show wow, circuits. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, it's a beautiful yeah, car. It's a lot of fun. It was once owned by Lloyd Myers, who's out of Elko, Nevada. And he has since been up to see it. So that was really special to have him here. A lot of history with the car. And I, and I love the way you dress to match the car. That's <laughs> awesome. It's just great. Thank you. So, great. Well, we're going to switch over to now to the Ford. So, hey, I'm here with Jason Wise. We're going to talk about his cool 40 or 40 Ford. And it's awesome, man. Tell us about it. Thanks. It's actually uh, one of the last cars my dad restored, and he uh, he went through this one from the ground up. So it's uh, it's pretty straightforward, 1940 business deluxe coupe, um, but you know street rotted and, and updated. So it, it drives like a dream. It's got a uh, small block Chevy for a power plant. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, runs up and down the road just fine. We did that. Uh, the paint, the frame, the engine, and the interior, we did it all in-house. Now, your dad did the 49 work that we already featured with your mom, right? Yes. And he also did this car. How, I, long have you, how long have you guys had this car in the family? had this car probably only six years. Um, but 1944 was dad's favorite body style, so he had to have one in his collection. And, right. Uh, actually, over the years, I've been through a couple of them, but this one was it. Yeah. Probably yeah, got more yeah. money into this car than it's actually worth right oh, it, now. It's awesome. I told you yeah, my daughter Lacey always wanted a 40 Ford. And I always promised to get her one, but I guess I'm just going to have to show her pictures of this one. Cause <laughs> that's just the way it goes, girl. Right? Jason's is a cool color. What color is that? It's actually just that orange crush. Orange crush. Yeah, it makes it stand out a little bit on the street and in the shows. And that's why I love orange cars, man. They're awesome. Right? Yeah. Cool. Let's check out the engine. All right. This is a good old reliable small block Chevy. Well, that's the way you go to them. Turbo 400. Yeah, very nice. Very cool. She drives out pretty good, huh? She drives excellent. 70 down the freeway, no problem. Automatic transmission. Automatic transmission. The coolest features that I think on this car is uh, Dad being a Vietnam veteran and all. Oh, His awesome. Calvary hat. We built a hat stand behind the seat. Oh, so nice. The hat that's that awesome. he wore. Um, in the, in the service he wore. Yeah, makes you feel like Dad's still riding around with mm -hmm. it. Oh, exactly. that's cool, man. We'll, we'll get some shots of that. That's awesome. Yeah. Still, uh, still co-pilot. 